This tutorial will cover the basic operation of SP Column by going over Example 4 from the SP Column Manual, Investigation of a Concrete Shear Wall Capacity. The problem formulation is to investigate the axial load and moment capacity of a shear wall for a given location of the neutral axis. Use 4 KSI concrete and 60 KSI reinforcing steel. SP Column provides a comprehensive model editor for irregular shapes. For this example, however, a specific tool provided with SP Column will be used for frequently needed shapes. To begin this tutorial, we need to open the Design Assistant. Go to the Start menu, All Programs, Structure Point, and in the SP Column folder, you should see Design Assistant. It can also be found in the SP Column Examples folder. The workbook is called Templates. Design Assistant uses macros to export data to text files. If a macro warning is displayed when opening Design Assistant, make sure macros are enabled in order for the exporting function to work properly. The workbook will open to the README sheet, which you can go over for more detailed instructions on how to use it. We'll go to the Example 4 sheet, and here we're going to use the default inputs. So the first step will be to export the geometry of our shape. Click Export Geometry, and save it in a folder where you can find it. I'm going to save mine in the Examples folder of the SP Column directory, and we're just going to leave it Example 4 Geo. Click Save. And we get a pop-up reminding us where we saved it, so just choose OK. And next we're going to export the reinforcement, so click Export Reinforcement, and we're going to save it in the same place so we can find it, and just click Save. And we'll get the same reminder about where we saved it, choose OK. Alright, now we're going to go back to SP Column and load up the properties for our shape. Alright, once we have SP Column loaded, we're going to go to File, Import, Import Data, and we're going to choose Geometry and click OK. And now we're going to navigate to the Examples folder and Example 4 Geometry, the file we just saved, and choose Open. Alright, and now we're going to go back to File, Import, Data, and this time choose Reinforcement. Choose OK. And now we're going to choose the Reinforcement file we saved and click Open. Alright, the next step is to go to the Input menu and choose general information and we're going to name our project example 4 we'll name the column Allen and the engineer will be SP for structure point the design code we're going to use is going to be ACI 318-14 we're going to use English units we're going to do investigation for the run option we're going to do about the x-axis for the run axis and we're going to choose no for consider slenderness choose OK alright we're going to go back to the input menu and choose material properties and for this we're going to leave it default. We're going to use 4 KSI for concrete strength and 60 KSI for reinforcing strength. Choose OK. Now go back to the input menu and choose reinforcement, confinement. OK, for the confinement drop down we're going to choose other. For the axial compression we're going to choose 0.85. For tension control failure we're going to choose the default. 0.9 and for compression controlled failure we're going to use 0.7 and we're going to leave the tie sizes as their default settings so choose OK. Alright back to the input menu and choose loads axial loads alright and for the initial load we're going to put 649.5 the initial axial load was selected through trial and error procedure in order to match the neutral axis depth of 24 inches given in the example so once we have that we're going to choose insert and click OK. Alright now we're ready to solve so go to solve execute and we're going to get a warning that reinforcement ratio is less than 1% and we're just going to choose no. Alright here we have our interaction diagram and if we want some more detailed results we can go to view results and the SP results module will show us a more detailed results for our example and if we want to print out our results we can go to view reporter and we can have the SP reporter print out uh, more detailed results in various formats and with whatever information we'd like Thank you for watching the tutorial and please check out our other tutorials. Uh, links are below the video. Thank you.